Hi guys, Alex Forte here, The Art of Simple Golf. Welcome to the bunker. Now, at this time of year, we're going to be getting quite a few, well for most of you anyway, you're going to be getting more compact lies. Now you can see this has been raked sort of around the center, but on the outskirts we've got some very compact sand. Now, you might not have as friendly green keepers or previous golfers ahead of you on the round who are going to leave you as nice a lie. And that's why I've, I've created this little situation here where I've got this compact sort of slightly damp wet sand. Now what's going to happen here if you play a regular bunker shot from a lie like this or, or, or from up there for example we you know the standard rule you probably know is get the ball about two inches behind something like that to make sure that you're getting enough sand you're using the bounce of the sand iron to be able to sort of skip it off the top and get a nice fluffy kind of high floating golf shot. You might think oh great I can't always do that but that's the objective anyway. However, with a uh, more compact lie, we generally want to try and use a bit more loft because we don't, uh, you know, we've got to be very careful with the bounce. And the other very important thing we have to do, instead of aiming about two inches behind the ball and getting that sand onto the green, we do have another video on that, by the way, just to kind of waffle on a bit, where if you want distance control, all you're really thinking about is how far you want to send the sand. So if I just wanted the sand to go just, or the ball to go just over the fringe here, I would be thinking about the sand just going past the green. However, if I wanted to go towards the back of the fringe there, my effort would be, like on the other side of the green, my effort would be to hit this sand as close to that fringe as possible, and that's going to give you distance control. So the same applies, but when we've got a more compact light, we only want to be focusing about an inch behind the golf ball. So that's why I've drawn this little line here. So we've got an inch behind the golf ball. Hopefully you can see that quite well. But with a, a lob wedge, if you have one, great. If you're still using a, seven, a, a sand iron, that's okay. You just maybe want to add a little bit more loft to it. But the, the main thing is, because if we, from a tight lie, if we take two inches of sand still, we're just going to dig in. So if I took two inches of sand, this is going to dig in a little bit there. It's not going to give me the nice control that I want. But with an inch of sand, okay, so now I'm thinking about clipping it off the top, still taking a divot but pretty shallow. I'm opening up the face and all I'm doing is hinging back and making sure I rotate and we get the result that you want. It's taking a slightly shallower divot, but it's going to give you that consistency. So bear that in mind when you're playing out of compact sand, wet sand, or those kind of variables. Aim a little bit further behind. Oh, <coughs> give yourself a little bit more loft. And just make sure that you're still accelerating through. But realize the variable of the sand distance is what's going to help you when you've got you know, wet, compact, or fluffy sand, depending. Now, come out and practice this just like I did hit some just the benefit of like three four shots from a compact lie compared to some fluffy lies it will give you the feedback that you need to hit some consistent and get some confidence out of the sand anyway so I hope you like that now if you want more sort of all-round tips please go to the art of simple golf .com free if you've got any questions leave them below please like subscribe uh, and all that kind of stuff. So, hope you enjoyed this and check out the channel and the website for some more really cool resources.